Assalamu alaikum everyone. Okay, before heading towards the types, type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4 and Chapit's method, before heading towards that, we'll see one more example on this Lagrange's form. Suppose this is the question given, px minus qy is equals to y square minus x square. Okay, now let's try to solve this. If we compare with the standard form of Lagrange's, if we uh, compare with this Lagrange's form, capital P small p plus capital Q small q is equal to r. So what I get capital P key value? x, right? Small p ka coefficient is x. Q ka coefficient is y. And this is my r. Okay? So yes, what is the value of capital P? x. That's what I wrote. Here, the value of capital Q is, see, I've got minus. So it is minus y. Okay? Next. R is what? Y square minus X square. Done. Now, uh, let's see the aux auxiliary equation. DX by P is equals to DY by Q is equals to DZ by R. So, what is the value of P, Q and R? P is X, Q is minus Y and R is Y square minus X square. So, see here, if we take these two terms, let's see if, if I can apply method of grouping. If I take these two terms, see, I, I don't have any other term other than y. I need to integrate this with respect to x only. And I've got x term. Okay, I don't have anything else. So, yes, it is possible. Let's see here. I need to integrate this with respect to y. And I've got only y term. So, yes, I can take these two equations and I can integrate them. So, okay, I'll be applying what? Method of grouping. So, that's what. I'll be applying method of grouping from 1 and 2. I'll equate these two. dx by x is equals to dy by minus y so now what i need to do i need to integrate so that's what i'm doing integrating this is 1 by x right so 1 by x into dx is equals to integrating this is minus 1 by y into dy done now 1 by x ka integration we know it is log x so that's what i wrote log x is equals to minus as it is 1 by y ka integration is log y plus i need a constant that is log um, yeah log c1 done plus log c1 done now See, in the general solution, the general solution we know it is f of c1, c, comma c2 is equals to 0. This is our general solution. So, for that I need to find what? c1. So, I need only c1. I don't need this entire terms along with log. I don't need log as well. So, what I'll do first here, okay. I need c1. I don't need all these terms. So, what I'll do? I'll first send this term to the other side. Here it is minus log y. Goes to the other side, it will be plus log y. So, log x plus log y is equals to log c1. I don't need this log as well. I just need c1. So, what I'll do? I'll take log common here. See, it is in the form of log m plus log n, right? So, log m plus log n is log mn. So, that's what I wrote. Log m n. m is x and n is y. So, x y is equals to log c1. So, this log and this log gets cancelled. What I'm left with? c1 is equals to x y. So, yes, I got my c1 value. Done. Now for finding C1, let's see here again. If I equate these two terms, if I see a uh, method of grouping, so if I equate these two terms, I've got Y here. Okay, fine. But here if you see, I need to integrate with respect to what? Z. But I don't have any Z term here. Okay. This is not possible. Same case even if I'm doing it with 1 and uh, 3. Again, it is not possible. Because X me to hai, but I don't have anything in, in Y. So it is not possible. And yes, you cannot see again, you cannot take this uh, dx by x and dy by y because it is already done. Take x and y are already done. You cannot take it. You can take the rest uh, uh, pairs. You can take xz, you can take yz. But here z is not like, I don't have any z term in z itself. So I cannot take z. Okay, so now if you see here, so that's, that means why I need to go with the another method. That is method of multipliers. So now let's see what we need to multiply. Here if you see in the denominators, See, I've got x term, I've got y term. I've got y square term and I've, I've got x square term. There is no z. So forget about z. And see here again. Y square hai. And here I've got x square. But here I don't have any squares, right? So simply what I'll do, I'll multiply the first term with x and the second term with y. So x into x will be x square and y into y will be y square. Z term, I'll keep it as it is. So if, if you see here, this will become x square, right? Plus x square and minus x square will get cancelled out. And here, uh, y into y, y square, that, that is minus y square. Minus y square plus y square gets cancelled out. Simple, easy. So, I'll simply, I'll multiply this with x, this with y, and I need to keep this as it is. So, I'll multiply it with 1. Okay? So, why, why we are multiplying with x, y, 1, x, y, and 1? You know, because we want to make this denominator as 0. So, that's what we are doing. So, multiplying with x, y, and 1. 
So here, here it will be x dx by x square. Here it will be y dy by minus y square because I've got a minus here is equal to dz by yeah because this term is only being multiplied with one. So as it is ringa one into d uh, dz is dz into one into y square minus x square is y square minus x square done. Now I'll add all these three terms. Okay. So my uh, each ratio you can take any ratio. Suppose I'm taking your dx by x. Okay. So dx by I'll erase this and write dx by x. You need something on the um, other side to uh, send the zero there, right? So okay. So dx by x is equals to this thing. X uh, x dx plus y dy plus dz. Done. Now x square minus y square plus y square minus x square. So obviously plus x square minus x square gets cancelled. Minus y square plus y square gets cancelled. So this entire denominator becomes what? Zero. So anything by zero will be infinity. But I don't need that. So what I'll do in uh, what I'll do I'll send this zero to the other side. So I've got a term here that is these dx by x. मतलब a ratio. So uh, this zero into this will be obviously zero. So my uh, leftover term. Will be now equal to zero. So x dx plus y dy plus dz is equal to zero. That's what I wrote here. Okay. I got my simplified equation. Now I'll uh, what I'll integrate it. Okay. So integration of x dx plus integration of y dy plus one into there is nothing. So I'll consider here to be one one dz. So x square integration is what x square by two plus y integration is y square plus y square by two. Okay. And here there is nothing. I am considering this to be one. So constant ka integration is what z, right? Because I am doing it with it it with respect to z. So it will be uh, z. Okay, constant is z. Constant ka integration is z. Okay. I need another constant that is suppose it is c two. Done. I got my c one value. I got my c two value. Now what? The final step and the very important step. The aim of the equation. The aim of solving all these is to find the general solution. Okay. The general solution is we know it is f of c1 comma c2 is equal to zero. So f of what is c1? X x y comma what is c2? X square by two plus y square by two plus z is equal to zero. This is your general solution. Done. This was your what given PDE and this 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 is the solution to that. PDE, okay. This is PDE. Why? Because we have got P and Q. That those are the partial differentials, right? So this is the PDE. This is the solution to the PDE. Got? I told you in the beginning itself, I mean, in the previous videos, that it's not necessary that we need to perform only method of grouping or only method of multipliers. Okay, we can take the combinations as well. So in this, we saw we are taking a combination here. First volume, I can find out the constant by just doing a method of grouping. But for the second case, it is not possible. So I'll go with method of multipliers. Got? So that's how we found C1 and C2. So now in the next videos we'll see the rest of the types non-linear and the types type one, type two, type three, type four and uh, Chaffetz method. Okay? So that's it for this video.